black. Today I'm actually in here. I am going to be, let me turn this out for a minute. I'm going to be in the laundry room working today. I'm going to be cleaning up all this junk and mess that you see behind me. There's things up here that should not be here. You have this stuff here, which has been sitting here. I need to refill some things. So I'm basically going to just get everything cleaned up. And then once I finish getting everything cleaned up, I will basically be organizing everything. I'm going to be wiping down things, cleaning things, and just getting this laundry room a lot more tidy and a lot more better. Okay, Mason. All right, so let me just show you guys really quick what it's looking like. I'm also waiting for an order from Amazon that was supposed to come yesterday. I'm going to be doing a little DIY that I'll be sharing with you guys for the laundry. So stay tuned and look for it for that. And also I ordered a rack for behind the door, a storage rack, and I'll be sharing that with you guys as well. Just redoing the area over, making it more functional, less decluttered, and more better for my space. So really quick, just to give you an overview. I did this laundry room um, a few months ago. I redid it. I basically stenciled the floor, painted it, changed out this handle. I should have ordered one for this. I'll redo this, change out this handle. I put up the um, like a little storage thing so we can have like little space savers here. Mommy. Jay put up these shelves for me. We painted. I did um, a accent wall by just using some paint that I had left over and a brush and we actually end up getting a new dryer because the one we had we had it since we moved in yeah all this is dirty look he's showing you guys this is just a bunch of junk look these cups need to be washed out or thrown away and then up here is dirty it's just really nasty right now in a minute i'll get the green ball for you and then over here i actually forgot to order the bag the bin for the bags to put on the wall so I'll see if I come up with anything neat for that but that'll just have to be added in later but we definitely will be taking care of the space and I'll be getting everything out of here first before I start wiping everything down So this is how everything looks. I've taken everything out. Um, I had to get the ladder, of course. You see the dust. I'm gonna try to give you a little bit more light. Um, I closed the door because it was getting kind of hot in here. But let's see. You can see the dust on here. Needs to wipe up, and then of course I showed you there. And then there's dust on top of the shelves. And I'm going to just wipe off the doors and stuff. I guess it would have been better for me to open up my to-do list. This is the things that I'm going to be doing or my goals that I hope to be attaining by doing this. I'm going to wipe down the shelves, clean and refill the jars, wipe down the machines, wipe down the walls, hang um, the wall rack behind the door, organize the laundry room, and some things that I possibly want to get from the store. There's a tray for the dryer. Hold on, Mason. A jar for the laundry room for the pad, the pods, and then... A container to store the bags in, which I should have ordered and I forgot. We need game detergent, vinegar, Clorox for the white clothes, scent beads, and then possibly a mat for Max's bowls. And then I have to make my scent booster. And here I just have the water warming up, which is hot now. I'm putting basically some warm water or hot water mixed with a little bit of Dawn dish detergent and some Fabulosa. And I'll just be using that to wipe out the um, the shelves and everything off in there. And then here, um, I actually had reordered, or she sent me the lady that I ordered this from on Etsy. This was basically a bad batch, and she was great about it. Um, so she sent me the proper stickers for these so they do not peel off because that's not supposed to happen. And I'm glad I did reach out to her about it because I was wondering, like, why is that happening? And she was gracious enough to send me um, some new stickers and also give me a discount and stuff on a new order so I'll definitely have her link below if you guys want to use her she has some great labels and does a great job New to me The way that 
that you're moving so differently Now this is all I want So if you make a move I promise I'll be there to ooh Give me a time and wait you know, I will be there before you have to wait for me Been hiding away for too long Cause all I need is something just like this In the time and place, ooh right. Give me a time and of this dryer can get really dusty so I definitely wanted to wipe it down but I did not want to move it because uh, the hose is not that long and I did not want to go through the hassle of putting it back and I also want to say if you're new to my channel my name is Natasha I'm a full-time working mom of four and on my channel I bring you guys tons of cleaning motivation things on motherhood decor lifestyle plus so much more and just how I handle my household on being a wife and a working mom so if that's something you'd be interested in I'd love for you guys to follow me I was on nine nine all the time. Shattered soul, you took control. But now I'm gone bye bye. Bring the fire. You took something beautiful and made it something cool. It's all that I get from you. You're so delusional. Now watch me take control.
quick, I added the only use, I left the old one here, I added the new one there. I'm actually going to just be putting the auto band in here, and then I put those with the pods. And this is a um, stoppable scent booster that I just added to the scent booster that I made already. Let me show you that. This is the scent booster that I made at the bottom, and I just put the unstoppables on top of there. And I use the scoop top for the unstoppables and put in there. And I'm going to get something to store these in. I'm not sure yet. And now it is time for me to put everything back. I still have to get Jay to make my rack to go behind the door. But I'm going to start getting things put in here so we can get this room finished. Pauses. I just wanted to share this with you guys. Um, Jay put the rack together for me. Um, it was about $39. I mean, it's $30. To me, honestly, it should be no more than 20 bucks, but I know they're expensive. But it's not going to do what I want it to do. The spaces in between here um, is not good. I mean, I probably could remove the basket, but I'd have to take out one, two baskets if I still want to use it. So we'll see. And then the other thing is, I can't stand up the big things in here. Like I want to put my cleaning products and stuff in here from out of my bathroom and all that stuff and just store them neatly. This is not going to work. I can put like little things like rags and those type of things, smaller jars, but the bigger bottles are not going to fit only at the top. Unless I honestly remove maybe this rack and this rack, I can store a few things in here. I'd have to see if I like how that's going to look. And then if these racks, I have them, I can probably maybe put them on the shelf with some rags or something in them or use them somewhere else maybe. I don't know. Sorry about the noise and background, that's the kids. And then the only other thing is to open the door. The door does not open all the way anymore. So it has that little blockage there. I mean, if I needed to move it, I'd always take it off. And it's not gonna go here. Um, this door's a little bit thicker, so I would have to push it down. I didn't wanna mess up the paint because I wasn't sure how it's gonna fit. And then I have these things here. So I just don't want it to be too cluttered. But we will see in the end if I keep it or if I send it back, which honestly, I'm a little disappointed. So I think I may send it back and just, you might see me do my organization on my things up there or maybe get some kind of cart or something later on to put on the side right here. This stuff is just here for now because I still have to come in here and get things organized. But I just wanted to let you guys know what was going on with another day. I think this is going to be like my third day, I think. But um, now I received the caddy for the um, bags, which I showed you guys before. I'm going to get everything up and put away. Um, I also bought another jar, which you'll see in the laundry room. Sorry about the noise. And then I got this for Max's snacks. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking... Um, there was a top Hold on a minute. Alright, I'm going to be taking this top which I had on make it up the table. This top which I had on another cleaning product and I'm gonna actually be replacing it on the bottle because this leaks and I don't feel like flipping this up every time to do it. So two of the bottles I'm gonna change them out and just put the tops, these tops on for now. And I'm gonna be putting the auto band inside the jar and I'll be using the top from this to go on there and the top for this is gonna go under the cover. But we're gonna start getting everything paired up now, and then I'll show you guys everything um, how it looks at the end. We've been driving around, singing songs way too loud because we wanna. Picking up our love friends, fill up the car to lip bands because we wanna. We wanna. Yeah, we just wanna have fun. The trunk's full of wine. We're gonna stay up, have the time of our lives. The night is in.
products that I had and replaced the pumps from those bottles so once I finish those I can just put the pumps up. I may end up spray painting the caps another color or I'll just order the proper caps form. Right now it really doesn't bother me. Um, at least I won't have any spillage and I'm just going to show you my check off list to show you to make sure I got everything I wanted to get done and then I'm going to show you guys the after of the laundry room. Okay, wipe down shelves I did, clean refill jars, swept and mopped. That walls hung the rack organized tray for the dryer jar for the pods container bag game detergent I forgot to get vinegar um, Clorox for the clothes scented beads I already had I just used the old ones just to mix in until later I still have to order Max's bowl and my scent booster so out of everything on this list I only did not do two things which I think is a win-win now let me show you guys this laundry room So we're going to just leave that. Everything does not have to be perfect. It's perfect enough for me. I'm in love with this space. Um, it's clean. It's fresh. Um, and everything has its purpose. So as I said, I'm going to get the labels for the ones that don't have any labels. I'll add those to there. And from there, we're good to go. If I do anything else in here, any other updates, I'll definitely share with you guys. If you have any questions about anything that I have used in this video, I'll definitely link it below. I'll also link my previous um, laundry room, the original laundry room makeover for you guys to check it out. Again, if you're new, I love having you here. Make sure you subscribe and like. It doesn't cost you anything to subscribe because I do see that there's some people watching my videos but for some reason you're not subscribing. So if you're watching them straight through, there must be something that you like. So I love you guys to stick around and all the other guys that I have here, my oldies, I love you guys. Again, I appreciate you and I'll see you guys next time.